Can pterosaurs and X-ring pterosaur bones help us bring in the next generation of aeroplanes? I think so. So we borrow from nature all of the time. You look uh, to Japan, they have the Shinkansen bullet train, and they've inspired that through the, uh, the belly of penguins, through the wings of an owl, all of these different developments through living species. But what we haven't done is look at ancient life. This means that we haven't looked at 99.9% .9 of species that have ever existed. And we here at the University of Manchester are looking at pterosaur bones to design the next generation of aeroplanes. Many species, most species that are extinct, aren't badly designed. They were in fact incredibly successful when they were alive. Pterosaurs, over the 180 or so million years they were around, grew bigger and bigger and bigger wings. The only reason that most of these species are extinct is because of rapid climate change, like volcanoes or meteorite impacts. I'm really excited to see what the next generation of engineers can find in extinct species to bring to the 21st century. We might have bridges designed off T-Rex spines. We might have planes designed out of pterodactyl wings. And we might even be living on the moon inspired by glyptodon shells.